we need to find the mass of a lamina in the form of the cardioid r equal to a into 1 plus cos theta with density that varies as the square of its distance from the initial line. So this is your cardioid r equal to a into 1 plus cos theta and let p be the point having the coordinates r theta and this is your distance r from the origin this is the theta and on the initial line theta equal to 0 degree here and at here theta is equal to pi and on the initial line here theta is equal to 0 degree and here theta is equal to pi 180 degree and let me draw a perpendicular from the point P to this initial line and let me name this point as Q. So it is given to us that the density varies as a square of the distance from the initial line. So this PQ is the distance from the this initial line, right? Okay, how to find this distance PQ? If you remember that, we know that sine of theta is equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse, right? So this is your base OQ and because it is the right angled triangle at Q, so considering OQ as the base and PQ is the perpendicular distance, and this OP is a hypotenuse, right? So this perpendicular distance, this is PQ over hypotenuse is R. So this PQ is equal to R sine of theta, right? So the density is varying as a square of the distance from the initial and that is square of this PQ distance that is this density is equal to mu PQ square that is R square sine square theta right okay and now writing the limits for R and theta it is very clear from this cardioid that R is varying from 0 to that is the origin 0 to okay what is the value of r at the point p that is a into 1 plus cos theta and theta varies from 0 to pi right and the required mass m will be can i write this as twice the mass above this initial line right okay so the required mass is equal to twice the mass above the initial line so this is equal to twice what is the formula for the mass it is double integration of the integrant the density and writing r dr d theta right so putting the limits of r here that is from 0 to a into 1 plus cos of theta and the limits for theta is from 0 to pi so this is equal to twice 0 to pi 0 to a into 1 plus cos of theta and the value of density is yes mu r square sine square theta putting the value over here and then r d r d theta so this is 0 to pi 0 to a into 1 plus cos of theta Multiplying this r square with this r, you get r cube sine square theta d theta. Very fine. Okay, now we have to integrate this with respect to, sorry, this is dr d theta. Thank you. Okay, now we have to integrate this integrant with respect to r first. So, for this, mu and sine square theta is constant so this is equal to taking mu totally outside so this is from 0 to pi and sine square theta is constant for this inner integration all right 
uh, what is the integration for r cube? It is r to the power 4 over 4. And then the limits from 0 to a into 1 plus cos of theta d theta. Right. So this is equal to taking 1 by 4 outside. I get this as mu by 2 from 0 to pi sine square theta. Putting the upper limit over here, I get a to the power 4 and 1 plus cos of theta to the power 4 d theta. Okay, now taking this a to the power 4 also outside, mu over 2 a to the power 4, right? 0 to pi. Can I write sine of theta as 2 sine theta by 2 and cos theta by 2? Yes. So this is 2 sine of theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 whole square. And what is the formula for 1 plus cos theta? It is 2 cos square theta by 2 to the power 4 d theta. So this is equal to mu over 2 a to the power 4. From here I get 2 square that is 4 taking outside. And from here I get 2 to the power 4 as 16 taking this outside 0 to pi. So this is sine square theta by 2. And here I get cos square theta by 2. And here I am having the power as cos to the power 2 for the 8 theta by 2. Which will give me all together cos to the power 10 theta over 2 d theta. Okay. Now I don't need this fraction theta by 2. So let me put this theta by 2 is equal to t. So that I get d theta as 2 dt and 1 theta tending to 0 t tends to 0 and 1 theta tending to pi t tends to yes pi by 2 right so putting the limits as now okay let me also uh, calculate this. This is 2 and 2. So this is 32. 32 mu a to the power it is 4. And then limits from 0 to pi by 2. Here I get sine square t into cos 10 t. And for d theta I have to write twice dt. So this is sine square t into cos to the power 10 t into 2 dt. So this is equal to, now taking this 2 outside, I get 64 mu a to the power 4. 0 to pi by 2 sine square t cos to the power 10 t dt. Now I am going to use the reduction formula over here. Please remember, for reduction formula, the limit should be from 0 to pi by 2, right? Okay, so this is 64 mu a to the power 4. What is the power of sine t? It is 2. So we have to subtract the odd numbers from this power for the numerator till I get 1. So 2 minus 1, 1, that's it. What is the power for cos? It is 10. Subtracting the odd numbers from this power 10 and multiplying them. So I get 10 minus 1, 9. 10 minus 3, 7. So on I get 5, 3, 1. That's it. In the denominator, we have to add the powers first. So I get 12. And then subtracting even number from this power 12. For the numerator, we always subtract the odd numbers and for the denominator, we always subtract the even numbers from the power. So, subtracting even numbers now. So, 12 minus 2, 10. 12 minus 4, 8. So, on 6, 4, 2. That's it. 
and one thing more because I'm having both the powers as even powers so I have to multiply with pi by 2 also if the powers are odd you do not have to multiply with pi by 2 but when the powers are even you have to multiply this with pi by 2 okay so let's uh, simplify this okay so this is uh, 8 8 64 and then 4 to the 8 and then this is 3 to the 6 and thing more yes 3 3 is a 9 and 4 and yes 5 and this is 2 that's it so 3 7 is a 21 over this is 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 and then 32 and then this is mu a to the power 4 and pi so this is the required answer 21 over 32 mu a to the power 4 into pi. Thank you.